Hi, this is P. R. Sundar, and welcome to this special episode where we'll be talking about uh, the new SEBI rule. That is the talk of the town now. The first thing is that the proportion of trades in futures and options compared to the cash market, that's the ratio, is one of the highest in the world in India. It is not one of the highest, it is the highest. The most speculative country is South Korea. But even the f and volume to the cash market volume is higher, even higher than the South Korea. So, the SEBI decided that this is not a healthy trend and it is not good. So, it may create some systemic issues at some point of time. So, they wanted to bring down the volume in futures and options. So, they thought what can be done. So, one thing they have done, increase the margin. And second thing what they have done, in a phased manner, they reduce the intraday limit provided by the brokers. Some brokers were offering crazy amount of intraday leverage. Some people say I can give 5 times intraday limit, some brokers 10 times intraday limit, some brokers they said you know even we can give 100 times, 1000 times also no problem. As long as you put a stop loss. If the stop loss is triggered still the maximum money that you lose should not be more than your money. Then we can give unlimited leverage. So assume that there is one or the other reason market crashes within few seconds. How many of you know day before yesterday so many people called me they said they put a stop loss in bank nifty future and it was triggered 100 points higher than the stop loss. It was a big jump 100 point. So for this has happened in a normal market condition there was no event at all. If there is any flash news some bad news some war breaks out here or something like that and you know if, if a stop loss is not getting triggered and suddenly if 300 400 point you lose what will happen to the people who are giving so much of intraday limit so that is why sebi decided to bring down the intraday leverage uh, in a phased manner so at some point of time they said the brokers can give maximum three times extra intraday limit for three months then the maximum they can give only one time intraday limit so that is also ending this month starting from june 1 the brokers can give maximum of uh, 0.33 times extra margin which means if you have got 10 lakh rupees in your account the maximum margin you can use is only four third of this 10 lakh that means around 13.3 lakhs so after three more months there is no intraday limit at all by the brokers. Whatever money you have, you should be trading only with that money. Then one more thing what they have done, even if there is a big swing in between intraday and let us say you get into some MTM loss, even that MTM loss amount also must be there in your account. Otherwise, there will be margin penalty. What I have seen, many brokers are using this as an opportunity. Even if there is no loss, many brokers just deduct some money from clients accounts. And if the clients say, why? They say this is intraday peak margin penalty. That day, you know, your MTM loss crossed and all kinds of nonsense things. And it is a very, very common complaint so many people raise. Nowadays, I find so many people coming to my timeline, uh, Mr. Sundar, you support, uh, SEBI bring back the intraday margin. Even some people, they said, uh, intraday limit, I used intraday limit and I traded and that is my livelihood. Now my livelihood is uh, affected. So SEBI, please bring back the intraday margin. Let me tell you, categorically, I don't think that anybody would have had the livelihood by trading intraday. If anyone has been 
trading intraday consistently making profit and all i am suggesting you post your last 2 or 3 years profit loss statement in a social media and ask for some help and i know there are so many big people in north india they are looking for traders who can trade in their pro account and this is a common practice with many people a broker will be having a lot of money with the exchange and the broker will create an account for you that will be his account only you can trade with whatever profit you are getting they will be passing on the entire profit to you after charging some nominal interest so earlier broker was giving free intraday limit you say you make you are making money now brokers will be giving you their limit but you have to trade in their account you may have to pay a little bit of interest so what is the big deal and let me tell you i have not come across even one person in my life who has been making consistent profit in intraday if any of one of you has done it will not be very difficult for you to find an hni client or a broker who can give their pro account for you to trade so therefore this bring back intraday margin is not a valid question but however what we can demand from sebi don't charge this intraday peak margin no intraday limit that is acceptable to me but charging peak margin intraday peak margin uh, just for fun somebody wrote a sebi chairman went to a hotel and the hotel server said you pay money up front then only i will serve the food and then i replied to that tweet by saying that not only that the server demanded the money the server also demanded extra money in case you break the plate or glass and you don't pay the money so that is a peak intraday margin so you must keep some more money for that also in no business in the world they say you have to bring the upfront money even if i have a money in my bank account and today let us say unexpectedly there are some losses if 5 minutes 10 minutes i can transfer the money from bank account to my trading account but now the sebi says even that is not possible as and when and that second when the loss has happened the money must be there in your account so that is totally unfair so traders and investors may be given just one day time to pay the losses but at the same time i support the sebi for not allowing the brokers to give intraday limit even i was very much worried when this new rules came i thought my profitability will be affected so much and now i'm going to show you my live back office report and i'm just going to show only one of my company account and you can see here so this is a manson consultancy private limited i'm going to reports global reports and you see this is a equity cash market cash market alone there was a profit of 31.5 lakh rupees of course this trading has nothing to do with the cash market i'm just showing you and if i go to derivative and as of end of may that may expiry april expiry and may expiry so two months expiry so you can see there is a profit of 1.66 crore 1.66 crore plus 31 lakhs so that is about 1.97 crore and this is the account i am having with one chennai based broker and i also do have another account for the same company that is in uh, another broking company so i am going to show you there so go to accounts and profit loss summary realized and f and o and just show Uh, go to the last page so you can see there is a profit of 1.09 crore so it is 1.09 crore plus 1.66 crore plus 31 lakhs put together it's more than 3 crore another thing here in this company a uh, realized profit is shown separately unrealized profit is shown separately so now i'm going to show you unrealized profit so that means unrealized profit loss means is a mtm profit and loss and here the problem it will only show the mtm loss or profit but you need to export it to excel in order to show 
the uh, in order to calculate the total profits so here is a total mtm so i need to do the summation so by summation it is actually showing 61000 loss so roughly in the last two months april and may where the intraday limit was restricted to only one time i have made 3 crore rupees profit in just one of my accounts so this establishes the fact that for a trader the sebi's new rule has not affected much now coming to the basic question how come the profitability has not reduced even though there is no intraday limit let me explain to you in more detail see whether you understand assume that there is a demand for 100 shares from the buyer and there was a demand for 100 shares from the seller side so the it was matching so the trading was going on but the seller always have the intraday limit from the broker but whereas the buyer had no intraday limit because buyers don't pay margin money so buyer pay only the premium money so anyway it was not affected so assume that earlier there were demand for from buyer for 100 shares from seller side there was only 10 shares but because of intraday limit so it has become 100 shares so 100 shares buying and 100 shares selling but now what happened if the sebi says no more intraday limit then the demand from buyer will continue the same the demand will not go from the buyer so the same 100 shares demand will be there but now from seller side only the 10 shares because there is no intraday limit so because there is a demand mismatch and because of this demand mismatch the premiums are higher that's because more buyers than the sellers so the premiums are higher so i have been observing higher premiums for the last few months so whatever is the loss the notional loss because of intraday limit that is getting compensated by the higher premium so that is number one and number two i don't know whether i can speak this well let me speak let us say there is a thousand crore with the brokers just giving an example let us say they have a thousand crores and they don't want to trade they don't want to take risk and let us say so many people come and open an account with 100 crore then what this broker say if you have got 100 crore i will give you 1000 crore 10 time intraday limit you go and trade and the brokers they get extra brokerage but now sebi says the broker should not give intraday limit then what will happen to the 1000 crores held by the bro brokers are they going to draw that money to do in some other business no that money is still there so what some good traders will get brokers in order to get brokerage and anyway they do not want to take the risk they may be looking for traders who can trade in their account so that is what just few minutes before i was mentioning so whatever money is there in the system that is going to be there that money was used for intraday limit for the retail people but now as per sebi rule it is not allowed but still the money will be there there may be some other ways where you can tap that money and that is what many many brokers do in India. So if you think that you have got the skill to make money in intraday you can always approach these brokers and they will be ready to give but however let me tell you these are the brokers who have got lots and lots of money but they do not want to take any risk. So if any loss happens the loss will be for you. If there is any profit comes and they will be taking some nominal interest and they will pass on the remaining profit to you. So I do not know whether this comes under SEBI regulation or is it a legal or illegal but I know that this is happening in many places in India. So uh, you know in science there is a law that says energy can neither be created nor be destroyed but one form of energy can be transformed to another form of energy. So something like that, 
the money can neither be created nor be destroyed the money with whatever money the brokers are having that money is still there only and when the sebi says it cannot be used as a intraday limit for retail people that money will be used for some uh, through some other means so therefore uh, even when i spoke to a uh, stock exchange of officials and they told me that there is not much difference in the volume so they also thought you know when the intraday limits are not given the volumes and uh, the turnover will go so much down but that has not happened so therefore let me summarize in all likelihood the sebi is not going to change his mind and these rules are going to be here the best that we can bargain or we can request sebi to do away with intraday peak margin penalty that too because some brokers are misusing this to take the client's money away so other than that let the new rules stay there and it's not going to affect anyone so hope you enjoyed the video thank you for watching